Welcome to the final, well, <laughs> not the final, welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Free, everybody. The first of the bonus episodes, because today we're going to the last world. So, uh, Blunder has told us multiple times that the secret is in these rocks. What we want to do is, in the rocket barrel, go around these rocks in a counterclockwise direction several times. And we're screwing up a bit. I thought it was counterclockwise. Yep. And welcome to the last world of Krematoa. So from the start, it looks like we should be able to go anywhere at this junction, but we can only go to the right, actually. So if we keep going over here, we can reach Cranky's Dojo. Otherwise, the only thing here is Boomer's Bomb Shelter. Hello, Boomer's the name. Blowing things up is the game. The rest of the folks have sent me up here. Said I was too dangerous or something. My brothers might be happy with those dull bear coins, but I'm only interested in the gold ones with B on them. If you can find 18 coins, I'll get this beauty primed and ready to blow. Then you'll see why they call me Boomer. Fancy giving me some coins then? Go on, have a go. Let's do it, Boomer. Good one, kitty. That's bought you one of Boomer's specials. So now what he does is he blows up the way for us, allowing us to go further into the Lost World. By the way, Kitty, did I mention that my last special costs 26 coins? But hey, it'll definitely be worth it. So after you blow up the first one, we can go to the very first Lost World level, Stampede Sprint. This is one of those levels where it's like it's simultaneously easier and harder than the one in the Sobrenius version. So right off the bat, we've got two no animal allowed signs, which is kind of weird. That should tell you there are bonus barrels of plenty around the start area. Fifteen bananas! So yes, the Lost World levels do still have bonus barrels despite needing bonus tokens in order to even do the Lost World points. Also, this has probably the most annoying bonus barrel in the entire game, I'm just gonna say. And it's not this one, not even by a long shot. But yeah, this, believe it or not, this is actually unique music. This is not the typical rainforest music. So we can get the K by doing that. And there's another bonus barrel up in there. Another 15 bananas mission. Nice squawks! I recommend for this one, don't even touch the up or down part of the control stick. Just stick with left and right and A. That seems to do the trick nicely. I'm impressed that Squawks can carry Kitty Calm and Dixie Calm like that. So you're probably thinking that's the only two bonus barrels, right? Actually, no! This level has three bonus barrels, which the Lost World levels can sometimes have. So what we want to do is do Dixie's Ponytail twir Twirl, and it's another Ellie level, and parry the Parallel Bird. The last bonus barrel, we need to keep Parry alive for the entire level. That's annoying. Welcome to Stampede Sprint. We cannot stop running. So you need to jump over all the enemies in your way. Oh yeah, those Kremlins are annoying. And we also need to keep Perry alive, so we need to jump over any obstacles in Perry's path. Alright, well if that happens, you might as well just stop. Also, this music, this level has easily some of the best music in the game. David Wise did an amazing rendition of the main DK theme for this level. Those are tyrant twins. Watch out for them.
Oh, come on, Perry! So this level, it's like, it's harder in the GBA version because the screen's smaller, so you can't really see in front of you all that well. But it's also harder in the Super NES version because you go faster as Ellie. So, in both cases, your reaction time has to be really good. If you're not trying to keep Perry alive, though, it's not too bad. Aw, oh, darn it. There we go. Also, no checkpoint. Oh darn it! Stupid tyrant twins. I forgot the tyrant twins didn't even appear until the Lost World. And now he's still terrified of rats, apparently. No! Ah! That's so annoying. That requires a, a really, really precise jump to get over that bee because the ground is sloped. And Perry always follows an exact height above you, so if you're running downhill and Perry's jumping, Perry will still go down. Well, that lasted a while. Prepa be prepared to lose a lot of lives in the Lost World. I remember this level being easy. I really do. It's just that cursed last bonus barrel which you have to get for his parry. And the worst part is that bonus barrel is so annoying! It's very easy to lose, in which case you have to do the entire level over again. Really, Perry? For real? Are you serious? So basically, if Perry jump early, that's what I'm getting out of this. I am on it! No! Oh, that's that's annoying. It's hard to tell whether Perry is going to hit the buzzers or not. My plan was to get through the Lost World in two videos, but... That very well may not happen now. Perry! Oh, I hate Perry so much. And again, this is the easiest of the Lost World levels. Pretty much without a doubt. Thank you, Perry, for not dying immediately. We got the hedgehogs, now we got this buzzer. Oh, for cry- that buzzer is nearly impossible to clear. Like, I feel like there are two pixels that you can go off of where Perry will get over it. Because if you do it too early, she, she, uh, Perry's going to hit it on the way up, and if you do it too late, it's going to hit it. Or, I'm sorry, if you do it too early, Perry will hit the buzzer on the way down. And if you do it too late, he'll hit the buzzer on the way up. And there's like no leeway. Okay, that was completely stupid on my part. I guess you can make the argument that all of this stuff has been due to my stupidity, but I mean, Perry is not easy to work with. 
You can't even buy lives in this. Actually, it's hard to grind up on lives in this, I just realized. Pretty much every other DK Country game has had, like, one level that's very easy to get a ton of lives on. Not really the case in free. Perry! That is so hard! There is no V-Way at all! There we go! That's a hard jump to make. No! No! The worst part is I know I'm going to be screwing up the bonus barrel at least once. Because it's so hard. It's one of the hardest bonus barrels in the game, if not the hardest. Yeah, can I just run under this? Oh my gosh, you can just run under the bee. Most of the bees you can just run under. Oh, come on! I touched the ledge. Darn it. Cool. No! I've been recording just this chase scene for 20 minutes now. Just this one level for 20 minutes. No, 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 no. Done with this level, yes! Now watch me fail the bonus barrel because it's so hard. Collect 15 bananas. Guess what? You have to use parry for this one too. Oh wait a second, what? I remember this level being harder. I remember you having to jump over the red buzzer anytime you wanted to go over it. Never mind. Yeah, because that's the thing. If Perry gets hit in this battle, then uh, you still lose. Okay, they made that easier for the GBA version. Super NES version, you have to jump over the red buzzer every time you want to pass over it. Get the steel keg. Die, you stupid coin. Let's be done with the level. And we get a gear. Every time you beat a Lost World level, you get a gear. And now, we can go back to Boomer's Shack. I'm cutting out most of that footage so we can have time to do another level. Is that a cog you've got there? You know, I reckon it'd fit on this strange box which has been here ever since I moved in. Pop it on in and see what happens. Looks like you're going to have to find a few more of them to fit all together. Maybe perhaps there are more hidden in other areas. Go on, Collins, I reckon you can find the rest. Don't forget, there's still demolition to be done. I'm itching to press that button. Fancy giving me some coins then? Go on, have a go. Let's do it, Boomer. Good one, Collins. That's bought you one of Boomer's specials. <laughs> I 
by the way, Colnes, did I mention that my last special cost 26 coins? But hey, it'll definitely be worth it. Alright. So it's time for the second level, which I remember being much, much, much harder than Stampede Sprint. And this is one that definitely got harder in the GBA version. It's Crisscross Cliffs. Another Old West level, y'all. And it's Sunset. So the main gimmick, there's a bazooka that's shooting steel kegs up here. In the Super NES version, you can just jump on in and bam, go up. In, the, uh, in this version, if you jump into the steel keg, you're taking damage. So you need to time your jumps very carefully in this level. So first off, bonus barrel. That's easy to find. Man, this they just love throwing the banana missions at us uh, in the Lost World. And yeah, now we shoot TNT barrels. That's nice. Alright. That was much simpler than the last level, so that's cool. Yeah, it's so easy to do that, whereas that's not even possible to do in the Super Nintendo version. Whoop! And the other gimmick, you can push those barrels and it'll start shooting TNT barrels to kill the red buzzers in your path. Yeah, a lot of precise jumps are needed on this level. Bam! Does that just lead to the O? Sure does. Yeah, ah! So this level, I'd say, is much harder than Stampede Sprint? Oh well. The Stampede Sprint is hard for the wrong reasons, where it's like, I should have landed on the cliffs a lot, but I didn't for some weird reason. Or having to deal with Perry, who's just a terrible gimmick. Don't jump on the TNT barrels. They'll blow up and you will die. Not sure why they have that available. Well, at this point in the game, bear coins are useless, so not sure why they have those there. You ready to cross some cliffs? I am. Oh yeah, more Tyrant Twins. This is their other gimmick where they can jump over one another. Oh, I guess that's the other way up. Ow! <laughs> I'm King! King Kong! Aw, oh, darn it. Those platforms have very little leeway to actually land on. But I'm enjoying this level much more than Stampede Sprint, so that's good. Honestly, at this point, I think only the last Lost World level is going to be more annoying than that. More annoying than Stampede Sprint. And like Stampede Sprint, it is hard for all the wrong reasons. Woo! Alright. Oh, I thought for sure that you could go up there. That's the thing, the Lost World levels, you never know how many... 
You never know how many bonus barrels there are going to be. Ah, that's clever. You actually have to go back down. <laughs> okay, that was pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure I had missed one of the bonus barrels in this case. Well, that lasted long! Boom, boom, bing, boom. Well, that's a no-win situation. Let's try this again. All right, whew! That's an intimidating bonus barrel, but it looked cool, so that's all that really matters. Yeah, I want to say most of the Lost World levels have three bonus barrels. Darn it! Actually, this might mean I can get the bonus barrel I'm pretty sure I missed. Yeah, but getting hit by the crossfire is very annoying. Ouch. Yeah. Go back down, hit the red buzzer, then... Never mind! I could have sworn there was going to be a bonus barrel down there. That would have been clever. Once again, Dixie's ponytail twirl comes in handy at the best time possible. Okay, cool! Only with two bonus barrels on that level. Sweet! Okay! I think that's where we're gonna have to leave the episode off for today. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, we'll be going to the next Lost World level. I've, there's no way we're gonna finish the Lost World in that next episode unless I make it super long. Have a great day, and God bless.